All right, so we looked into to a various amount of options in every widget, and in our case, we've been working on the dialogue widget. But hopefully, in between the breaks, you explored and played around with a few other options. In this video, we're going to start exploring the methods. We're not going to go through all of them right now, but we're going to see a few of the basic ones, such as close, open, and destroy, and we see, we'll see how they work. And they literally, their job is to close the component, open it up, or destroy it. We're going to look into the is open and see how do we fetch information to be able to get some information from our widget. Without further ado, I just walked up a few steps. Without further ado, let's just jump in and start playing with it. So the, I'm going to go right into our um, code. And in our code, I want to show you how do you approach a different method. So first of all, I'm going to only start working with it after our dialogue was created. So I'm going to go to line 23. And in line 23, I'm going to approach our widget again, basically going to our dialogue. And in our dialog, I'm going to call the dialog function again, but this time around, I'm not going to send into it options, but I'm actually going to ask it to do something. So I'm going to ask it to close. And that's literally all I had to do to be able to close our dialog. Now that I've saved it, I could go back into our application and I could click on refresh and I'll be able to see that my dialog was automatically closed. Now to make sure that it's still there, how about we add another function right after that and we could ask it to open up right after that. So I'm going to just copy the whole thing again and ask it to open. If we go into our page again and we click on refresh, we'll see that our dialog will open up automatically. Now, you might not want to do this in an automatic way, but you might want to have some sort of button or some sort of functionality that once it's done, this dialog button will go away, such as if you have some sort of interactive feature within your component, which you could put inside of it whatever you want. Last thing I want to talk about in this section, well, in this current video at least, is our destroy function. So our destroy function is in the exact same way, it's the same method. The way we approach it is through the dialog and all that's left is just called the destroy function. Once I call the destroy function, even if it's open, it will basically annihilate it. But I probably have a spelling error. Let me make sure that I wrote destroy correctly. Destroy. Let's go right back in there. Destroy. Destroy. Yeah, that made sense. If I go back into our code and I click on refresh, now you'll see that our component was ref uh, was destroyed. Not only was it destroyed, it also returned our basic HTML back into the page. Now, one thing to note is once I destroyed our component, I cannot call it again. So if I try to call open again, it will have no idea what I want from it because it doesn't exist anymore. Thus, if I click on, if I, after I destroy it, try to open it again, it will there's no way to open it because there is no component there anymore. All right, so that covers the basics of how do you approach a component and how do you open it, close it, even destroy it. Now, the next thing I wanted to talk about is if you wanted to check, for example, let's say we want to create some sort of a toggle that if it's open, then we want to close it. If it's closed, we want to open it. How will we do that? So, well, it's easy enough and very simple. We could use then leverage that is open method and the is open method would return a boolean value that would be true or false. And because of that, what we could do is we could just go right directly into our code. And in our code, we could type here an if statement. And we could put inside of that if statement our dialog method. But this time around, we will type inside is, I think it was is open, right? Let's check. Is open. Yep. So back into our code is open. Now, if it is open, then we're going to do one thing. If not, we're going to do a completely different thing. So if it's open, we want to close it. And if it's closed, we want to open it. Now, obviously, this, this example is not a very realistic one, mainly because, well, we know it's open because it is open, right? If we wanted to, we could have added another, well, there's no point in adding much more than that. But in this case, in scenario, initially when our application opens, our dialog box will be open. And because it's open, we're going to automatic clo automatically close it. If at any stage the automatic state of our component was, was closed, then we're going to auto automatically open it. Obviously not the most in logical example, but here we go. So our component is now closed, and it's because we close it with our if condition. So that covers, uh, we just covered really, really quickly four out of the basic methods that exist in every single component. So, well, in most components at least. We closed it, we destroyed it, we checked it is open, and we checked the open. We will talk about the other ones in a future video. The move to top we're not going to talk about because it's quite intuitive. The move to top will basically push it up. Um, if there's other things underneath it, it's going to make sure that it goes right on top. It's going to be the top widget around just by calling it. 